will Tom Brady be any good at it? Which I don't think has been said about Tom Brady since 2001, right? That was the last time anybody ever wondered aloud, is Tom, can Tom Brady be any good at what he wants to do? Facts. Right. And that's another reason why, you know, I kind of tip the cap. And obviously when somebody drops that bag on your table, you're going to say, sure, I'll do that. Uh, but even with all that money to incentivize, it is impressive that he's going to do this because this is way out of his lane. This is way yeah. out of his lane because, uh, Mike, I, I didn't give you this heads up before, so you're going to have to go with me here. Yes. Because when Tom is asked a question, whether it's pregame by all of the Fox pregame shows that Mike Del Tufo swears he will – Mike him up he for will be on. yeah. I don't mic up people. Okay, I mean, oh, pardon me. <laughs> I mean, you don't shine shoes no more. I've been away a long time. On. I understand that. Some the show. Put come some on. respect on his name. I used to mic people up. Susie, I mic'd up. Yeah, she could say that. Okay, I actually, mic'd up your story. wife. Right. Although, by the way, today is the speaking of not shining shoes no more. Today is the 42nd anniversary of the day That's where right. uh, uh, Henry Hill looked up and saw the helicopters in the clouds. And, and, ooh, yeah. greatest. Uh, okay. By the you, way, May, May 11th, 1980 was the date. And <laughs> was yes. yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate this. I digress. How you doing, Henry? I'm sorry, Rich. I digress. I digress. Yeah. But Tom Brady, when asked a question at any point, even by Kevin Burkhart during the game, cannot plead the fifth. He cannot no. do that. You have that drop. In I, front uh, of you. You can't I actually find it. was looking for it, okay. and it, it got inadvertently. <laughs> you got to get your game together. If Brady's joining Fox, Mike. And it was funny because anyway, normally he's like he, right in my he main. Cannot, I actually looked for it. He I cannot plead. Did. He cannot plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. He cannot do that. Uh oh, hold on. Hold and on. and this is. I plead the fifth. Well done. Mike. <laughs> it was it moved hey. inadvertently. All right, better late than never. That was me. That's true. I will take that uh, foul. But look, I think. And 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 that that drop kind of makes the point I'm about to reveal here that everybody is viewing Brady's ability potentially as a broadcaster through what we've only seen from Tom, and that is completely guarded velvet ropes around anything important that we want to know from him from his 20 years of being the personification of the Patriot way and the Belichick give nothing to nobody, give no answers that can absolutely reveal a single thing that could lead to a kernel of or morsel of information that could be used as a bulletin board material or to let anybody know anything about what you're planning to do or anything of that nature. Okay. And then he said, didn't he say on LeBron's show, the shop that he, 90% of the time, he doesn't tell the truth. Didn't he say something like that? Oof. I might be um, exaggerating his percentage that he said. And we're all taking a look at what we've seen from Brady and saying, that's not a broadcaster. And I will just counsel everybody who might be thinking that, that many of you thought the same thing about Tony Romo mm -hmm. when he got the gig. That Tony Romo was defensive whenever there were questions asked of him at his locker in Dallas because you know what? That's what you got to kind of build those walls when you are the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, which is another reason why Dak's sunny disposition kind of makes people put off that he's not right for the job because normally we think you Cowboy quarterback should be kind of, you know, jabbing back at us here and not giving us anything. And everyone was wondering, can Romo actually talk? Can do you want, do you do want clarification, by the way? Do you want sure. clarification on that? Sure. He said on the shop, what I say and what I think are two different things. I would say 90% of what I say is not what I'm thinking, which is challenging. I really admire people that actually can do that and say what they think because they invite a lot of other things. And I think there's a part of me that doesn't like conflict. So in the end, I always try to play it super flat. Re now, remove that 90% and 100% of the time not playing it flat from a strategic standpoint i never want to give away what i'm doing i usually say the opposite if they got a and i won't say this on the air corner i'll say that guy's unbelievable i don't know what how they can complete balls over there and in my mind i'm thinking i'm gonna go at that mother <laughs> effort all day i don't want to give them anything well yeah, i, I mean the, the 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 mf -er 
part can be said if the games are on FX. <laughs> but I, I think what you've just said, Suze, there, what if that Brady shows up in the booth next to Kevin Burkhart without the obvious MFers and stuff like that? What if that Brady, who has never said anything about what he thinks or has said anything critical of anybody at all, what if that Brady shows up in the booth and you're like, okay, right? Like it's two different ways to say okay, as we say yeah. on the show. Is like, okay, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Or okay, okay, that would be the okay, yeah. Tom Brady. And yes. Can I finish the quote? Because sure. I've never Sorry. liked him more. Okay. Okay. And see if this sounds familiar to you. Some people, like my wife, for example, she lets it come out. It's like vroom and it's out. And I'm like, oh, SH. Mm -hmm. And she's right. I like you, Tom. Her instincts and her nature is usually right with a lot of things that she says and thinks. I'm like, how does she do that? Because I've got to think about it for like five or 10 minutes and think this particular situation or answer. I don't want to say something in the end where I'm like, ah, I wish I'd said something different. I get you, Tom. I get you, Tom. So it's usually your wife that's right. This is the Tom Brady that's there that I would counsel for him to let out. And again, like I said yesterday, there is no situation in which Brady will not have a personal experience to tap into, to express any analysis in a game. There isn't, with the exception of a team being on like a five-game losing streak. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. that's it. Something bad. Quarterback coming back from a knee injury, got that one. When we were one and Quarterback, quarterback <laughs> who's had somebody <laughs> drafted right there in Garoppolo mm -hmm. later in the career, got that. Quarterback who's been doubted, who had to move on to Cincinnati, got that one. Quarterback who's played in multiple Super Bowls, got that one. Quarterback who's lost in multiple Super Bowls, got that one. Quarterback who's had to go back to back, successfully and unsuccessfully, got that one. Late round draft pick with a chip on the shoulder. Got that one. Comebacks. Got that one. Which one doesn't he have? And better than anybody else, with a, all due respect to anybody else who's doing it right now. He's got everything covered. Coach who's controlling. Been suspended. Got Accused that one. of things yeah. that might not have been true. Or check. Correctly. I mean, check. Sca sca yeah. Sports scandals. Scandal. Check every yeah. box. Everything. You're right. Every box can be checked by this guy. And Kevin Burkhart, look, I heard on Dan's show, they were talking about this, and I heard uh, – Andrew Marchand, the guest of the New York Post, saying that it's up to the play-by-play -play guy. Really controls a lot of what the uh, analysts can do and how successful they are. Like and, and while I, you know, I will always <laughs> think that, you know, any host or play-by-play -play person does have that sort of control, and they do because you have to set up your analyst or whatever. But the analyst still has to get in and out before a snap. Still has to know what to say and when to say it and how to say it. A host can't control that. So that's going to be on Tom Brady, and if he approaches this just like anything else in his life, he will delve deep into it and be over-prepared for it. And, you know, my only thing I would say to Kevin Burkhart, I don't think he needs my uh, opinion, but I, I, I have some experience at this, Kevin, is just beware of the two-shot with Tom Brady. <laughs> that is a losing streak every time. <laughs> All right? Every time. So the toughest part of Kevin Burkhart's job is going to be the open of the broadcast <laughs> in the top of the uh, second half. And then uh, to wrap things up, you know, Kevin just, you know, it, it you know, doesn't matter what you wear. It's going to look like you're wearing a burlap sack. It's a tough two shot. But Kevin's also got one of the most incredible moments of his career. Tom Brady is coming to the booth and he's your partner. And I think he's going to be really good at it and can be terrific at it. And anybody else who thinks otherwise, you just haven't seen the Brady that actually exists. He hasn't shown it to you. And he's not going to show it to you again this year either. That's going to be something unwrapped in his first game with Fox.